Hello, my darlings. And, well, first off, happy Thursday. And welcome to, um, is this, well, it is a speed build. It's more of a speed renovation. I decided to renovate the Factory One lot, which is that lovely kind of old looking factory in the world of Windenburg, into three separate townhouses that you can use with the four rent expansion pack, if you may wish. You may, you don't have to, but if you do, then the, the opportunity is there for you, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this is probably one of my favourite, like, EA builds i don't know why i just i don't like the decoration inside it's absolutely ghastly but i really like the shape of this build so i was like oh that would be a really nice house to renovate into three other houses so that is what i went ahead and did and i really like the outcome of it what i did was furnished each of those each of the townhouses but i did them in kind of a little bit more differing styles one of them very kind of dark sort of um, industrial sort of style. The next one was very much of a wooden kind of vibe. And the last one was a bit more of a lighter, brighter moment. Um, ignore what I'm doing with the roofing here. I kept it in. I went with this roof in the beginning, but it was just not working for me. Considering I went right up to the third level uh, with these townhouses, um, the roof line was just cutting into everywhere. It was looking awful. I really didn't like it. So I actually whiffle that and make it look a little bit better in just a second. Each of the townhouses has uh, three bedrooms and three bathrooms. They also have um, a kitchen and diner on the first floor. Up on the second floor is where the living area and a bedroom is. And then up on the third floor are two bedrooms and a bathroom. Um, we also have balconies. We've got all sorts going on in here. It just came together really nicely, this did. And yeah, and, and hence why it's quite short, quite short speed build because I didn't have to go and do all of the walls and stuff. It was already pre-existing there for me. Um, it just, yeah, it came quite easily. So I'm using these lovely doors here. I always forget what pack they came from. Was it growing together? Can't remember. And I'm gonna mix them with the Moschino windows and the industrial kit pack um, slidey doors as well that I put up on the balcony. Uh, but yeah, really nice lot as well with this because it's got really nice views out from everywhere and it was good in gameplay as well. Now that for rent is kind of working okay for me, I don't know what it's like for everybody else, I kind of tested it out just to make sure, um, it all came together really nicely and absolutely loved it. And ignore what I'm doing here with these walls as well, we end up doing something a bit different um yeah i can't really remember what i did but i definitely did something a little bit different and this is where the third floor started taking place so i put in like a little hallway and a bathroom which i'm doing now um and i extend out this the size of the actual bedroom areas as well which in turn made me change the shape of the roof and stuff on top um, and you can see i got rid of the roof and I decided I'm going for something a little bit more simple. So I kind of round off those roofs that I've got. Well, first off, I was trying out loads of stuff. You'll see me go through a few little phases. Um, and I was, I was just not liking what I was doing. This one here in particular, I was just like, no, that's not giving me the vibe. It doesn't look very factory-ish. Um, so I end up getting rid of the big roof altogether and just having a bit more of a smaller vibe with half walls and stuff. And you'll see that come into play a little bit further on but it was so much fun it was so much fun to, to just get my thinking cap on my loves and make this into a build that just differs slightly to the original and yeah very much like it indeed tell you who lives who lives in this lot that i absolutely get pixel thirst on is that paolo paolo is he called paolo rocco i can't remember what he's called but he's really hot um my a few of my sims have had babies with him <laughs> um i and there was a there was something on Twitter a while ago actually of people um, a, a male sim who you usually make as your baby daddy. Um, I'd be interested to know who yours are in the bottom below <laughs> because we've all done it, haven't we? I've even I think even one of my sims had a baby a baby with laddie daddy at one point as well. So that is just the thing, and I love how collectively we all call him laddie daddy throughout the community. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? Um, but you know we are. Um, in the Sims community, so when are we not weird? To be honest with you, uh, but yeah, make making a little bit of a back garden area as well. It's not big, it's not massive, especially because I put stairs in there. It kind of takes up a lot of the room, but they've still got their own little kind of like courtyard space at the back of the house. And yeah, I really like how it came together. Again, putting in more balconies. We put in three balconies off the back. These balconies are straight off of the living area as well, so they've got a nice view over the canals with these bifold doors. 
and I'm going ahead now I'm putting in a little bit more of a floor plan into the interior so you can see this is going to be a little toilet this is up on the first floor um, this is going to be a bedroom what I'm doing here I just copy over the floor plan that I've already made in the first house because it just flowed really nicely um, this is down on the ground floor so this is going to be the kitchen and um, kitchen and dining area and then I we go up to the living room and then up to the bedrooms as well on the top and this is where the roof line started to change dramatically because I was just not feeling it I ended up putting in these half walls at differing kind of heights just to make it look a little bit more interesting which it did I think it just played a really nice part but I was still not happy with that big roof piece so we I end up shortening it down quite a bit and I think it I think it made a big difference in the end it just it, it felt it felt a lot more fitting for this build and um, it really did putting in some more um details as well with the half walls just mirroring what is beneath them um and I just again just think that makes a nice bit of difference as well it really does sorry if this video was a little bit late um I think it might be a little bit later than normal uh, I had so much to do today so much to do today and I just didn't have the time to do the voiceover so hence why I'm doing it now um so yeah you've got that for you haven't you yes you have indeed uh, doing the same round here as well come around to the back and put in the half walls on the back area too uh love the these mosquito windows in the dark gray decided so I'm doing a bit more of a gray vibe here rather than the dark black ones um and I much prefer it really do so this is where I get rid of the roof I get rid of the roof I think I do a smaller roof piece but um, I end up going through with a lot of half walls instead. And I just think it makes the whole build look a lot better. I think it just makes it look a lot more factory-ish. That is the word that seems to be um, my favourite today. So we'll go with factory-ish today. Yes, we are. Hang around for tomorrow as well. As you all know, I'm going to be... Well, if you don't, and now you do, I'm going to be um, building some bathrooms for you. Um, and I've, I have recorded that video and just wait for the outcome of that we do four different bathrooms all in different styles and but what I try and do is keep it on the same footprint just to use a bit of my imagination and it does work out quite quite nicely so you'll have to you'll have to wait you'll have to wait and see for that one but it's um yeah it's interesting to say the least that's all I'm gonna say but I end up going for these bricks but I get rid of those I get rid of them when I go into the game next you can see they've gone already it just wasn't working for me up on the balconies so decide to keep the balconies in this dark black um and it, i just think it fit the build nicer i really did and those corbels just um act as a bit of support and a little bit of detail for the front of the build as well i just thought it looked really nice i was ifring around whether to put those hedges in but i'm glad that i did uh don't know why i'm putting in bifo doors once again i think they might have got deleted at some point but here they are they're back and this is from the kitchen area so they've got slidey doors out onto their little courtyard area you can see i'm just copying everything over from that first townhouse that i've already done and what we do when we get to the furnishing is we go level by level in each house so you'll see me start on the darker house i'll do the downstairs and then i'll go onto the middle house and do it that way so you'll kind of see each see each floor being sort of furnished um as we go up i just thought that was a nice way to do things and yeah i think it made a nice difference little gate as well out from these little courtyard areas very nice decided on putting a few little modern windows just into where the bathrooms are on the third floor and a couple of the little circle um, windows at the top as well um yeah I, I was playing around with quite a few windows because when i put in the modern windows for some reason it was just looking a bit weird um, so I decided oh sorry so I decided to go for the smaller ones and yeah look nice um I was apologizing because I hit my mic don't know if you know I'm just not randomly apologizing out to nowhere I know I'm British but I'm not that British for goodness sake um and decided to swamp the lot in with these trees as well I was looking around as I always do you can see the other trees on in the surrounding areas to the lot it just helps blend a lot in to be honest with you i'm going the long way about saying things today um but yeah i'm i'm happy with how this came out and the, i like the interiors as well we go for a little bit more of an industrial modern a slightly bohemian in some of the houses um vibe and i kind of like it and this is the first one coming into play now so this is the first townhouse they've all got the same floor plan but what i try and do is 
make the floor plan a little bit different by furnishing it differently. So you'll see me go ahead and use this one as a little bit more of a practice run, to be honest with you, just to see what I could fit in here using that lovely home chef hustle kitchen. Um, and we use that throughout the whole build as well. The third townhouse, we change around the bottom floor quite a lot. I go for a different vibe down there. You walk straight into the kitchen instead. And yeah, it really, it, it, I just wanted to play around with the furnishing and make it just to see if I can make it look a lot different um, with where I put things and stuff. And I think it was nice, but this is nice. Very nice, darker kind of um, industrial vibes wanted a little area as well now this isn't the living area but i still wanted to have some kind of seating at each level so you'll see me use this little nook over here um in differing ways and yeah i even put a little office in one of the houses as well which is very nice they're all ready to move in you can your landlord can buy this and rent it out if you may wish but all very nice indeed you won't see me go ahead and furnish each of the bathrooms but i do um, show you how I finish a couple of them, I think, maybe. So this is the second one now. So this is how I do the second one. Quite similar to the first one, but what I do is do a bigger kind of island area. And um, it just changed the whole shape of the downstairs for me just by doing this. And I'm going for a bit more of a browner sort of mid-century vibe down here. I just think it looks really nice. Really nice in this whole area, really does. Very nice. Love that polished concrete floor. I would love to see some more. But more than that, I would love to see some more ceiling, like paint, like or ceiling tiles. I think we need like proper like Victorian coving ceiling tiles and stuff. I would love to see that in game. So maybe, hopefully one day, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, Not at all. And a dining room in the same spot as well. But again, you can just see just by angling off the island and stuff how different you can make it look down here just by furnishing it in a different way very nice indeed and then the third and final one we put the kitchen straight into the well as soon as you walk in you walk into the kitchen area so i'm not sure how realistic that would be for a townhouse but for this one it is and it's in the sims so it's not that realistic anyway but i, I love this one here i love that swatch for that kitchen i like the kind of like pia what do you call it again? The Piazzo tile? Can't remember. But um, I love that swatch. I think it's really, really nice. Uh, and this just flows really nicely. Still put a dining room in here as well. But um, I end up putting a little office over in this area here. Just to differ it up again um, into other uses, you know. And very nice it was too. Yes, indeed, Ludo. But I didn't go ahead and chuck in too much detail either. I just wanted just enough to make it look like you could rent this out willy-nilly. But um, anyway, I'll put to the first floor. So these are the living rooms coming up now. So for the first one, we go for a little bit more of a darker industrial vibe. I still keep all of the exposed brick throughout all of the house or all of the houses. Um, I just thought it looked really nice having the brick exposed with all the different tones that I put in. Um, I think it worked out quite nicely. Uh, the living rooms themselves are a little bit of a similar layout. They really are. But um, I do try and differ, them up, differing, differ the mop using um, different colours and styles. And I think it worked. Anyway, bedroom. Here we are. This one's got a balcony. They have all got the balconies. Um, I just think it worked really nicely. And then this one, the brown... I'm going to call this the brown townhouse. We go for a little bit more, as I said, we go for a, more of a mid-century vibe in here. So mid-century furniture here and there. Um, but just with mixes of... Uh, I don't know, different uh, colours. Like, well, I'm going to say colours, but I still wanted to have like a nice industrial edge. So I, I tried to mix up as much as I possibly could. And I don't know. I like the outcome. It's all been player tested as well. So your sim should be able to use everything. Um, and I put in a couple of little chairs off of this balcony. I thought that was very nice to do. Uh, changing the layout in the bedroom a little bit, put the bed on the back wall here so it kind of looks straight out onto um the balcony area and i kind of like it i kind of like getting my brain juices flowing by just trying differing things and making things look different by not doing too much do you know what i mean maybe not but i hope you do um and then this one here is the lighter townhouse so i do like the look the best um of this one i really like the vibe of this one a little bit more and um, living room anyway 
I just, I don't know, just something nice about it. I think it's all the pictures and stuff and the textures and the mixture of furniture in these, this um, house. So I wanted this house to be a little bit more bohemian, but still look like it could be the sisters of the other two townhouses, you know? So that's what I wanted to do. And a nice little bedroom here as well. And I put up a little um, chest of drawers in front of the bed with this one, just to, again, to just differ up the style by doing little subtle changes. Um, and I like it. I like how it all came together. I really do. And then up onto the third level. So I did a single bedroom here that I thought would be perfect for a teen because I put a desk and stuff in here. Um, and this is for the darker townhouse. So um, with these as well, you'll see it in the video tour. These have got skylights um, in these bedrooms or just in the darker townhouse anyway. And the other townhouses have skylights but they all go into the bathrooms and stuff just so i can flood a little bit more extra light in um yeah it really worked and then this one here i thought was just like a it could I, it could be the main bedroom or you could have it as a guest suite i didn't really have any kind of label on this one but i'm sticking with that dark industrial vibe um and yeah i think it really worked and i'll show you how i furnished one of the bathrooms up here as well i mean it's very simple but these bathrooms as i said have all got a skylight above them as well so they do get flooded with light my loves they really do so into the brown townhouse i decided this one here would be with the perfect kids room so i put a kids room in one i also do a toddler's room in the lighter townhouse as well so you've got a kind of mixture you could i, I really wanted this to be open for multiple kind of types of sims and families so you'll have that yes you will and then this one here is another teen bedroom as well so again they've all got walk-in wardrobes as well all of the bedrooms so i really wanted that to be apparent in here so i could fill up the bedroom spaces with you know trinkety bits and that's all i need to say to be honest with you but yeah i like how they came out and then the lighter townhouse i like the four poster against the industrial vibe in here like with the exposed brick and stuff i thought it was very nice indeed but again, you could make this into the main bedroom or just a, a guest bedroom. The choice is up to yours, my darlings. Um, and then into the topless bedroom as well. So very nice, very cute. I think it came out really well. Anyway, my darlings, I will see you all tomorrow. You're going, you are going to go and watch a video tour right now. And that's it. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.